Last year, I introduced you to 78th, which is Chicago's new next greatest neighborhood. And today I will share with you some of the most recent updates. This is Gabby with Next Gen Real Estate and Property Management, serving all of Chicagoland in their real estate needs. If you haven't seen our previous video about 78th, I highly recommend you check it out on our channel. So let's talk about the five major upcoming projects. Number one, the Discovery Partners Institute for the University of Illinois received $10 million investment from the Pritzker Foundation to establish the Pritzker Tech Talent Lab. In 2017, then-Governor Bruce Rauner and then-Mayor of Chicago Rahm Emanuel announced their goals and visions for Chicago research technology. This includes the Discovery Partners Institute. Starting September 2020, the Pritzker Foundation donated $10 million over the next five years to the Discovery Partners Institute to support and develop promising and more diverse tech talent in Illinois. Prior to committing the $500 million, Pritzker Pritzker wanted Illinois colleges to show their commitment by generating an equal amount in private capital. Donors have already contributed $230 million, including a $5 million gift from University of Illinois Board of Trustees Chairman Don Edwards and his wife Anne. The Pritzker Tech Talent Labs will launch with two programs. One, a high school to career pathway, which includes additional instructions in high demand skills such as coding, internship placement, mentorship, additional guidance counseling, less mile finance aid, and emergency financial support. And second, upskilling of existing workers, which includes executive education and machine learning, artificial intelligence, and 5G, working with corporations to develop their own training programs and a master's degree in tech leadership. By 2029, the goal is for the Pritzker Tech Talent Lab to help 7,000 people annually secure jobs, including more than 300 women, Blacks, and Hispanics. Next project is the Parkside Headquarters. The Parkside HQ is a 900,000 square feet private building with an estimated value of $100 million. This is a 14-story horizontal office structure with a variety of floor plates, appropriate for big, connected, and collaborative working environments. The third update is the Riverfront Innovation Office. According to the Build Center Inc. related Midwest planned a 16 floor, 350,000 square foot building for a boutique office setting named Riverfront Innovation Office. The project will include flexible layout plans. Next is the Gateway Towers. The Gateway Towers, which is planned to be a pair of connected office buildings, will be a centerpiece of this new stage. The taller of the two, at 755 feet and 525 feet, will rank seventh on Chicago's list of the city's tallest new developments. The 78th interconnected superstructure will be located in the northeast corner of the property, with its entrance on Roosevelt and Clark Street. A seven-acre park will be developed adjacent to the tower pair for outdoor space. And now comes the most ambitious yet controversial part of 78 mega development, the Chicago Casinos. The Chicago Casino Project is currently one of the most attractive casino resort development opportunities in the country. Additionally, a significant lower tax rate was available to a potential operator due to the passing of the Public Act 101-648. In December 2021, the City of Chicago government secured five competitive proposals for the Chicago Casino, which will generate $200 million in annual revenues for the police and fire pension funds. The holder of Chicago owner's license can operate a temporary casino for up to 24 months with subject to 12 month extension and therefore a permanent casino located in the city. In addition to a casino, the gaming enterprise also will have the opportunity to operate slot machines at Chicago Midway Internet Airport and Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. All applicants selected through the process then must apply to the state for the owner's license and meet the state's licensing requirements. Chicago requires casino operators to create a casino resort with 500 hotel rooms or less, meeting spaces, restaurants, 
bars, entertainment venues, and more. Through this casino project, the city of Chicago aims to create well-paying jobs and new employment opportunities and training programs for Chicago's residents. Also aims to generate gaming tax revenues for the city, which will be dedicated to the city's police and fire pension obligations and to assist in building wealth through hiring local and sourcing goods and services from city-based businesses. According to Chicago Tribune, the developers of the proposed River Casino at the 78th announced plans for a sophisticated entertainment complex along the Chicago River on Friday, with gambling options for both land and water. Moreover, the South Loop Casino will have an event center, multiple restaurants and bars, a nightclub, and an observation tower looming over Roosevelt Road, thanks to a partnership between Rush Street Gaming and related Midwest. The developers said that the riverfront access would allow boats and water taxis to dock and drop off customers at the casino. The casino would be located on the north end of the 78th with public transportation options, including a water taxi from Chicago River. In a dedicated area of 450,000 square feet, Rivers Casino at the 78th would include 3,300 gaming slots and a retail sports book. The city of Chicago is a prime piece of real estate now and in the future. Stay tuned for more updates on real estate all over Chicagoland. As always, I am here for all your real estate needs, so click on the link below to schedule a free consultation with me. Thanks for watching, and as always, Where's your future?